All right, so what do we have here then? Well, this is my 1.2 volt wireless electric Arduino powered POV. And uh, how this one came about was I was looking at the circuit diagram of this previous one that I made a couple of weeks ago. And I thought to myself, well, hang on a minute, I swear it runs from an AA. So I could actually go lower than the USB voltage um, that this one uses with a couple of changes. So this one, in fact, uses an infrared LED on the send, uh, infrared LED on the receive. Um, and that enables the uh, not using the voltage doubler on the Arduino side, on the pickup side. And to power it, I've used <laughs> I've used a jewel thief. If it had been clever, I could have used another coil underneath the main coil here uh, to pick up and to power that LED. But anyway, um, I've used a jewel thief instead, and that works fine. I've got a 100 PF capacitor across the transmitting coil, and I've got 100 PF on the receiving coil as well, and that's enabled this to run pretty nicely indeed. Uh, only other changes, I've got a D882 transistor over here and I've used a couple of resistors to bring the um, motor speed down. This is the kind of motor I've used, just a 1.5 volt type of thing. Um, these are the LEDs and the green um, came off this junker circuit board here. Uh, in fact I've got eight on there but I'm only using five. This is the coil, one of the 24 turn coils and uh, yeah, just using a an IMH. So I'll, I'll show it running next. In fact, I'll uh, just show it running now because I'll probably turn the light off because I've got the green LEDs on it. So there we are, powering up and round we go. And if I shield the light a bit, in fact turn it off a minute, you can see it run. But I'll do it, uh, I'll do it properly now and you can see it uh, running through its different messages. So there we go, the uh, infrared LEDs, they do quite a good job really of uh, aligning up the text as it spins around and it's possibly even easier than the whole sensor to line up and I don't get bits of metal sticking to, to the magnet like on the other one. Um, yeah, to change messages, I've got the pins on the back of this salvaged Arduino actually from a different project. I'm just plugging the FTDI unit into the back and then into the computer to change the messages. Um, oh, I should mention the pickup on the coil. This uh, 24 turn coil here, um, it's two wires, um, I've bridged with a 100 PF capacitor to get the resonance correct, then I've got a 1N4148 diode that goes into the raw input of the Arduino, and I've got a 100 UF uh, 10 volt capacitor across the ground and um, the raw input. I'll be posting the full source code for the Arduino, I'll put a link to that, and uh, Thanks for watching.